and emphasize the practical difficulties of their own assignment. On the site of the oldest film studios in Britain, at Walton-on-Thames, they celebrate 50 years of continuous production. The guests had the opportunity of watching a sequence of the studio's current film being shot, The White Unicorn, starring Margaret Lockwood and Ian Hunter. Roll on. Right, Margaret. 10-319, take two. Right, action. It's beautiful. Almost too perfect. Yes. A bit misty, though. I think it's going to rain. We took Margaret Lockwood aside for a brief talk with Gamlin. I, what are you doing here dressed like this, if you see what I mean? Well, for a change, I'm, uh, I'm playing a modern part. Oh, you really are? Yes. I wondered what had happened really to the picture am. hat. Absolutely sympathetic. No murders. No murders. Now, Margaret, what's all this I hear about you having a daughter in this film? My small Margaret. What, your own daughter? Yes, she plays my daughter in the picture. And how's she getting on? Well, although I say it myself, I think she's wonderful. You do? Yes, I do. Well, I'm sure she will be, but um, do I detect a note of suspicion or jealousy in that? Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. The present big stages contrast intriguingly with the small house nearby called the Rosary, where in 1897 Cecil Hepworth began production. In those confined premises, they shot such masterpieces as this old friend, Rescued by Rover, the inevitable gypsy snatches the child from the pram. The erring nursemaid unfolds her tragic news. But have no fear, good old Rover is quickly on the scent. Aha, he traces the gypsy to her filthy attic. Now here comes father at the double, guided by the faithful hound. My child, cries father. Curse you, cries the gypsy. And all ends happily in this old time feature production, which cost exactly seven pounds, 13 shillings and ninepence. Stuart Rome, famous star of the silent screen was there. Also Henry Edwards on the right. Ready to talk about the studio, though not about himself, was its managing director, Ernest Roy. And we believe it is the oldest studio in the world. Among the publicity stills on these Nettlefold studio walls, one star was very prominent, Chrissy White. Remember her? As one of her earliest fans, I asked Chrissy what she thought of this same studio nowadays. Well, it didn't quite the same, you know. It's a wall so much bigger now. It's a little tiny place when I first came. Well, look, when you wear hair, do you remember what was one of the, the, your favourite films when you wear hair? Can you remember it at the moment? Well, the very first one I did was called For His Little Lady's Sake. For what? For, <laughs> for His Little Lady's Sake? Whose Little Lady's Sake? You don't know? Well, there was a comic groom, I think, you know, and ah. I, I think I was his little lady. And you wept buckets of tears? Well, I don't know. Everybody else did, I think. I did. <laughs> what do you do nowadays? Do you, are you doing a lot of film work over here? Well, don't I do? don't do anything myself. No, my husband does, but I just sort of, you know, I'm a housewife. <laughs> the housewife? Well, take a bow. The perfect British housewife. 